Port Arthur's Public Health Department also covers Groves and Port Natchez. Health Services Director Judith Smith says they're seeing more positive COVID cases from all three cities. We were at one point just reporting maybe one case a day and on some days we were not even reporting any, but now we're reporting a little bit more, maybe four or five at the most. And at least one death in Port Natchez linked to COVID. Total cases climbing from 46 in June to 76 in July. Only halfway through August, 56 cases on the books. Smith expects well over 100 by the end of the month. People are gathering and traveling and, you know, getting together. So. We, we expected that there would be a slight increase. Many have received the original vaccine, but not the newer ones that protect against multiple strains of COVID that have evolved. Because there has been an, uh, a, a progression of variances since that time, it, you know, it may not offer a lot of protection now, but at least it will provide them with some. Smith says a new vaccine will be released in the fall to protect against new strains, but high-risk individuals shouldn't wait for its release. Because after a period of time, the vaccines, your immunity wanes, and so we're just really kind of concerned that those individuals, if they were to get COVID, would become very ill. The health department still provides vaccines at the Texas Artists Museum. She recommends following the same type of protections you would during flu season. You stay home if you're sick, wash your hands as often as you possibly can, and cover coughs and sneezes, and try to maintain a healthy immune system. To help fight off whatever comes your way. Reporting in Port Arthur, Sydney Ferguson.